Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine and we're here at South by Southwest. This is the EDU edition of South by Southwest and we're at the Expo Hall. A lot of cool stuff, cool tech here. So let's take a look. So South by Southwest EDU happens before South by Southwest, interactive music and, and stuff like that. And of course, it's focused as education. A lot of companies uh, working to get products for your kids to learn and to teach and you know, all, the, all of that other good stuff. And I'm seeing some really cool stuff here. So let's walk through the expo hall really quick and let's see what we've got. This is just STEM Education Works? Correct, yep. STEM Education Works. STEMeducationworks.com? Yeah, okay, exactly. In the robotics area, we got uh, Make Block right here, Steam Solutions for computer science, robotics, and stuff like that. This is a, one of their kits right here. Of course, you can get uh, multiple different types of kits as they go. And you can do some really cool stuff with robotics, like this one right here. It's kind of like uh, it sees the boundaries and says, okay, I got to turn around and yep, another one. It's got cat ears, so I don't know. Is that a cat or a dog? Cat panda. It is a cat. Oh, it's a cat panda. So we can make hybrid animals. That's pretty cool. All right, we got Weird Enough Productions here and really cool, it's, it's a comic, but it's a comic education-wise. Uh, so, uh, and what I've been told is it's more than just, you know, the Captain Planet, hey, we've got to save the Earth type thing. Uh, it's, it's more geared towards the adult teen, adult teen type uh, comics. So it's, you know, the like graphic novels like Spider-Man and Batman and stuff like that. It's in that same realm without getting too gritty, but giving the students uh, different types of subjects that they end up having to talk about in the classroom. And they can even participate in some of these by going online and talking and saying, hey, you know, uh, bullying is a big problem, but this type of bullying, or texting while driving, or anything like that. And it gets incorporated into uh, future episodes of comics, uh, which you you read online, but they're static comics. They're not they're not animated comics. They're stat they're static. You scroll through it like you would any other newspaper and stuff like that. So, and it's by Weird Enough Productions, which is a pretty cool name in itself. You know, I love it when a company is all about badgers. Go badgers! Except these badgers are from Oregon. That's weird. But anyway, they have badger B A D G R, and what it is is a not, not a badge system for companies, but more of a certi certification system. So you give uh, people cer cer certificates for accomplishing different tasks, especially in companies that have specific tasks. So you can say, hey, you're a mentor, you're, a, you're an expert in this area. So you can go over to Badger and you can actually uh, sign up and, and set up some certificates for your company. I think there's some fr uh, some free and then of course some uh, freemium models and of course some uh, some pay models that you would have to get. Uh, but really cool, check it out, Badger. Go Badgers. These are Lovats. Looks like they got a camera on top of their head and they interact with the user. Like this one's saying hi to me. How you doing? Pet me. Pet me. I'm right here. Hi. What are you doing? I'm blinking. Here you go. Interactive, fun guys for your kids. And they even got a, a little backpack. Yeah. Which you could probably turn on and, and have everybody go, oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> and that's the love it. Gotta love it! At the Chevron booth, they're doing some pretty cool stuff. These are just cardboard boxes with some some uh, paper. I'm trying to remember the name of the paper. Anyway, uh, shadows and lighting, that's that's pretty sweet. And we've got over here, we got uh, some fabrication machines. Looks like they're making some molds over here. That's pretty cool. So fun little projects. 
for the uh, kids, including this. So these, uh, I'm guessing these are going to give you different types of musical tones when you touch them. We uh, talked about that a couple of years ago, and they were doing that with bananas and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Dance, robot, dance. I'm shaking my hips. He's waving at me, kind of. He's dancing at me right now. Check this out. This is the cocoon, which is a really nice place. I would think a lot of podcasters and musicians would love this as well. But basically, uh, this is meant for schools, and it's just a place to kind of recharge, refresh, and some cool ways. Again, got a nice screen, easy screen here, projector type screen. And then uh, a lot more in that cocoon. Let's go to the other side. That's pretty cool. I want this for my room. Look at that. All right, we got pocket points here, and this is actually a uh, this is an app for students to stay off of their phones. So you have that set up. You have this area set up like a campus. Uh, yeah. We have what's your name? Lauren. Lauren. We have Lauren here, and we have this, uh, this area set up like a campus. Mm -hmm. And with that, uh, if they, if somebody's on the phone, that uh, if they stay off the phone, they can uh, they can get some cool rewards. Correct. Yeah, so you just stay off your phone when you're at school, and then the longer you stay off, the more points you earn. So after you earn your points, you take them to the gift page, and you can get deals around campus. Can you lot pizza? Yeah, get some pizza. Pizza and movies for good movie Friday for night Redbox. action there. Is there any beer on there? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, so. no, no. We were never. Um, <laughs> but Maybe. we're also letting teachers put their own rewards on there. Okay. So you can get extra credit. You can get, you know, leads of class pass. Maybe your teacher will throw you a pizza party, you know, whatever they can think of, they can do. Okay, and that's pocket points. That's pocket points. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. So we got uh, uh, Scott. 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 Shane, Shane was just here. He Shane was the one that was on Shark Tank. But uh, were you on Shark but Tank? But we know him. No. Yeah. I'm just, we're both just like one person connected. Okay. You know, away from Mark Cuban. It, so. It's just a little bit longer of a beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just depends yeah, on who's lazier. So, so cue ball uh, is, uh, I, I've, I've talked about microphone uh, uh, throwables before, and this is definitely one of them. You saw, might have saw them on Shark Tank. Uh, and of course, this is the, you guys are focused more towards the education side Absolutely, of things, right? Absolutely, yeah. Totally so. focused on helping teachers get engagement out of their students. Like that's definitely our core. Now, Shane told me something about, about kids learning at a higher decibel. Is that correct? Yeah, so, I mean, essentially, it, it comes down to attention. Okay. Right? So it's just like if... if, if I'm sorry, what did you say? I just lost the attention. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So the, the louder and the more impact someone can have, um, obviously, you don't want to be yelling at them. So it's not necessarily about, like, your tone, but it's literally about volume. And some kids, okay. a, a lot of times, we're actually working with kids that have hearing impairment. Okay. And so it, most of the teachers are mic'd up, but then hearing their peers is now the problem. And okay. so a kid in the front of the classroom asks a question... And someone that's hearing impaired in the back can't hear it. But with okay. cue ball, we can amp that up, and they can actually hear their peers. Okay. And, so this is mostly you're you're going towards schools rather than uh, the general consumer right here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, anyone. I mean, this works great at festivals and for bigger corporations that have big meetings. They want engagements out of you know the coworkers yeah. and things like that. But I mean, ultimately, you need a crowd, and uh, if you want to get engagement with Adam, this is a wonderful way to do it without breaking your microphone. Oh, he just dropped. He dropped it. And that's the idea, of course, with the cue ball. So thank you very much for your no time, problem. Scott. No problem. Take care. And that's the EDU side of South by Southwest. They're here on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then, of course, tomorrow, Thursday, the interactive part uh, comes in. And, of course, that's followed by film and gaming and music and all the other South by Southwest parts. Uh, but a great conference in itself the first couple of days. If you get a chance to uh, check it out, definitely, I would, I would do that. So, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine. We'll see you at the next one. Check out all my South by Southwest content. Uh, of course, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, the bell notification for the next video. Until next time, you guys geek out and take care.